let us start analysis of space science question paper so as it is every time i am saying same thing that you have to go through a uh, question paper first which is available on our youtube channel that is savarkar ias study circle first solve that uh, question paper and then observe this video then it is more useful so let us start the question paper question 1 aditya yan is at dash dash point l1 l2 l3 l4 so as name indicate aditya l1 it is at l1 point uh, that is between sun and earth this point is located so option a is correct answer question 2 mom that is mars orbital mission was launched from earth with help of option a pslv option b gslv option c pslv boosted with cryogenic engine and option d scramjet technology uh, now here the right answer is pslv only so that means again option a is correct option uh, because when we launched this at that time we were not having this cryogenic engine and uh, scramjet was not developed at that time in india so uh, answer pslv is right answer question number 3 arrange planets in increasing sides mercury now if you are going through all four options mercury is the first yes it's true so we have to discuss all now venus uranus and saturn so this is the correct sequence mercury venus then uranus and then saturn so this sequence is right so option a now here no multiple choices out of four only one is correct and therefore a is right answer fourth question when star in bracket it is mentioned other than sun so when a star is going to the back side of moon the phenomena is called as again answer here that is a that is occlusion uh, sorry occlutation that is the thing uh, that is the right answer so here uh, another thing is that lunar eclipse so it is not lunar eclipse if at all if sun is there then obviously solar eclipse isostasis is not the condition here and uh, therefore option a that we discussed that is the correct option here now this is right time now uh, where uh, one can discuss uh, one can study the atmosphere of uh, moon whatever the rare atmosphere is there that can be studied out at time of this occultation uh, because spectra of the distant star that is taken and then that star is going behind moon so while passing out we can uh, consider simply that uh, radiations are passing out through the atmosphere of moon and then we can study out the changes the absorption spectra particularly we can study out at that time now fifth question a person is standing on equator of earth okay when he will observe moon rising and sun a uh, sunset on opposite sides simultaneously that means at a time there should be moon rise and at a time sunset okay option full moon day new moon day eighth day after new moon day can't be predicted so right answer is full moon day because sun and moon both are at opposite side so one is setting and other is rising so this is the situation that is on full moon day so option a is again right so start from 1 to 5 all options we are getting a nothing to worry about it now sixth question which is the largest and heaviest satellite in our solar system ganymede the moon europa and charon now out of that ganymede is the largest satellite 
in our solar system that is uh, satellite of natural satellite of jupiter seventh oort cloud or oort belt is the place in space option a in between the mars and jupiter option b beyond kuiper belt option c between andromeda galaxy and milky way and option d none of these so the right answer is beyond kuiper belt kuiper belt means pluto charon aeron like that objects are there that belt is called as kuiper belt beyond that this belt is there that is called as oort belt and we believe that comets they are arriving in the solar system they are basically from oort belt or oort cloud that is the thing eighth question which is the first human made object to venture into interstellar space that is uh, crossing the limits of our solar system option voyager 1 voyager 2 sputnik and apollo 11 so obvious answer here is not sputnik and apollo 11 because sputnik is the first to uh, revolve around earth apollo 11 was there till moon we are talking about crossing of solar system and then the answer voyager 1 and voyager 2 both but first is voyager 1 and therefore here answer is voyager 1 but uh, some people are saying that pioneer is also there in interstellar space but uh, i don't know much about this pioneer one so here voyager 1 is the authentic answer we are getting here ninth question dash touch was there in apollo 11 but didn't landed on moon first one gagarin second one rakesh sharma michael collins and neil armstrong so you are aware that yuri gagarin was not there in apollo 11 he was from ussr not from usa rakesh sharma went in the space the first indian in modern days but uh, with help of ussr at that time but he was there in the space so both options are not correct michael collins is right answer he was there in the eagle so that was uh, revolving around moon whereas neil armstrong and edwin aldrin they landed uh, actually the long word moon moon i have to say there on moon uh, so neil armstrong is not there so option is michael collins is right answer option c is correct 10th one the artificial sorry the first artificial satellite of sri lanka is garuda 1 ravan 1 vyom vahan 1 and dadu monara so right answer here is sri lanka means the most famous thing for us that is ravan so they kept name of their uh, spacecraft as ravan 1 so uh, sorry uh, artificial satellite they named as ravan 1 but initially they were thinking that dadu monara should be the name of that satellite but later on they said that uh, it is difficult to pronounce and ravan is well known personality and so they given name as ravan 1 so these are the answers you can verify that and if any problem is there obviously as usual i am saying that mark in the comment box thanks